All right, so we're here at the junkyard. As you guys can see, I am looking for some specific stuff. It's gonna be kind of hard to find, uh, being that they don't have a lot of selection. Mainly, all the Hondas are on that side. But yeah, afterwards, I I'll show you guys what I found, stuff that I was able to acquire. So let's. What's up, everybody? So we're back here at the junkyard. Uh, I just found this Accord right here. I'm not sure what year it is. I believe it's an 04 based off of that. Uh, I just need a couple miscellaneous stuff. So I ended up getting that one bolt from the compressor because I am missing one. I need a couple bolts for the transmission so I can bolt up my transmission and a couple little miscellaneous stuff that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, I know another one's going to be the AC plug from the actual uh, harness itself so I can convert it. All right, so tragic. We got an EF hash here just shelling all this mantle as you can see that's crazy you don't see these often got a little bit of rust on the quarter panel but yeah look at this right here ef spotted at the junkyard so sad got some ls meshes right here as well look at that but yeah i think at some point it had ls meshes as we were this breaks i'm not sure if these come with it but yeah it even has them and everything so Got a grill in there, you can still see some charcoals. But yeah. Right here. Looks like a what is that a Supra? Like the old Supras? Crazy. I don't know, think one of these will be at the junkyard. Look can see. I had something going on. Look at that big old hole in there. Glue. But yeah, this is a prehistoric monster right here. Has a fuel cell inside as well. This was somebody's project car for sure back in the day. You see, what a relic! Look at that fuel cell in the back, everything. Yeah, and I was rotting, rotting in here at the junkyard. I mean, it looks pretty intact for the most part. And right next to you got an R8. Funny, yeah. Got a little dolly over there too. Got a whole bunch of. Bunch of stuff in here. Not, nothing, nothing really that I'm looking for, but we do got some stuff in here. A lot of, a lot of domestic stuff. That's for sure. So included the junkyard run. I went in there. I won't say it wasn't bad, uh, but it wasn't that good. But I did find a lot of stuff that I was looking for for the most part. I know it was a, a lot of miscellaneous, dumb stuff for the most part. Um, I'll show you guys once I get uh, home. But essentially, it was just pretty much transmission bolts, those 17 millimeters. I believe they're M12 by 1.25 pitch. Um, I did find the AC plug that I needed to convert it on the Integra because it does have the uh, I think like the BD series style for that compressor uh, Let me see what else uh, For the most part, that's what it was. I did find a little grommet for the shifter um, For my RSX shifter. So I hope it fits because that's from an Accord Typically, that's all you see here at the Joker is a whole bunch of Accords um, but yeah, I didn't really find anything. I haven't been here in months, so who knows if they had good stuff and, you know, it already went out. But for the most part, I just saw the same repetitive, like, uh, stock or stuff or inventory, should I say, that they had in there. But yeah, overall, I will say it was a win, so. so we made it back to the crib. We're in the garage currently right now, and this is what I got. I pay a total of $5 for everything, plus... Um, I guess uh, charge for using card because I didn't have cash. Um, not bad. So this is pretty much what I ended up getting for that. Uh, so we got the AC plug right there in order for me to convert it on the Integra when I do go AC for my compressor. I'm pretty sure it's the same one, but I did I did get one from a, um, a K24 uh, Accord. I got these little plugs here, which I wanted. Um, one of them is kind of like partially broken, but it's fine. This is for the starter. This one's for the alternator. And then these little plugs right here will probably serve me good with time. I got these, um, what is this? Coolant temp. Um, I don't want to say, can't, uh, I think it's like a fan switch. Yeah, the fan switch. So I got this pretty much just a plug up my uh swivel thermostat housing because i can't find the correct threads for it but if you guys know the sizing of these threads pretty much this is the plug right there so i know for my uh eg you guys can see but you can see from here a little bit from the eg you see you guys can see you guys can see right right down you see right down there right there you can put an arrow or something 
Um, I have one as well, and I'm just using it as a plug, to be honest, because I can't find uh, the correct, I guess, thread or size for that. And then I've uh, got this AC upper bolt because I am missing one for my compressor. Um, I also got this bushing here so I can put inside in there. Uh, it looks in pretty good condition besides me gouging the crap out of it, so you guys can see, unless I did removing it. Figuring out how to remove it. It is a little bit dry rotted, but I wish I could find my grease, my, my, um, like, what do you call it, rubber grease or whatever, so yeah, I can grease them up and install it, but I don't know where I put it. And then I just got transmission bolts. I got, uh, four of them, and then these long ones here with the, with the nuts. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up bolting whatever I could on the transmission. And then I did pick on one, um, I borrowed, well, I took one off from the, Engine stand over there holding that key 24. Finishing up the bull thing I got for you guys. Just go in here. Shorter. This Stop. is that shorter one right here. Let's continue. So glad I went to the junkyard and found some some decent stuff that I needed. I was hoping to get lucky and score some stuff, but uh, there's really nothing in there. And I know in the past I sold some Accord ECU, some manual Accord ECUs. I sold one. But I didn't want to risk it again because I took it by accident thinking it was going to work for something I wanted. And I ended up bailing on it so I just sold it. So I make good money off of it. I already got one in there. Let me see what else. What else I'm missing. If you see this one right here. Oh, I am missing that one. And then last time, which I thought was probably a bigger size, something along the lines of, let me see, of uh, this one right here, I'm taking the nut off, uh, was the one because as you guys can see, next, it's, see, slightly longer. This one's shorter, and obviously it's just not fit. But when I put it in last time, it was getting really tight, so I'm not sure if, Maybe something's wrong with the threads or who knows, but I'm going to see if I can put some, maybe some thread like penetrant or something to see if I'll help it. And then I have to see which other bolt I might be missing. I'm going to put some bolt penetrant in there. So you can see right here, it is running out a little bit. So I might have to pick up one. It's the same as WB40 for the most part. Let's see if this will help it. Seems like this might be it. Perfect. There you go right there. Boom. Not sure if I'm missing any of them from the bottom to be honest. I'm already checking for that. So here we got side by side. The uh, Z3, K20Z3, and then this is the uh, Honda Element 1. Um, as you guys can see, they're pretty much identical when it comes to this, uh, the splines. Pretty much the same. And to me, it looks pretty much spot on same when it comes to these two. only difference that I notice um, with this one is this one doesn't bolt up completely so as you guys can see when I try to put it on as you guys can see oops sorry uh, when I try to put it on you guys can see it's 
it's at a weird angle. So, but if I do this, it goes in, see? But then there's no way of me putting this on, but still there's so much tension here that it's not gonna go in. So that right there does not work. Take the Z3 one, you guys can see. Perfect. Lines perfect. Everything is mashing and bolting on perfectly. So the only thing I can think of is this one is probably an automatic one, um, to be honest. Or maybe there's a difference when it comes to these brackets here. Uh, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's my take on it. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this All one right, up. As you guys can see on the left, we have the Z31. Look at the difference. This is a lot shorter and closer to the actual intermediate shaft. And then we got this. You can see this design right here, and it is pushing it a little bit. So maybe that's leading me to believe that it's probably an automatic one. Um, I do have to double check maybe with the RSX like that or an RSX and the good known main one that we use all the time so I might have to double check on that maybe online or something. Okay, so you guys saw the difference and the dilemma that I ran into that's why it did not work. You guys are seeing I did show you guys uh, even though my thumb got in the way but you guys saw um, why it's not working so essentially it's just that bracket that goes bolts on to the actual block itself it's way different and I did find a RSX type S one which I'm gonna put here so you guys can see and it's identical to the Z3 one so that's why I had zero luck with this one right here as you guys can see but nonetheless you let me learn so I did end up getting an automatic one so yeah let's go ahead and put this one on bolts right here three bolts you guys can see the collar ones will go on this side all right so the collar ones will go on this side if i can get them on there you go. I'm gonna use the gun real quick just to get them in. And on the regular one, I am going to put it here because the hole, sorry, the hole on this one is slightly smaller. I'm not sure if I got it in the way, but yeah, um, it is slightly smaller, so I'm gonna be putting in this one. tighten it that way I know how much pressure I am giving it there you go we got an intermediate shaft the corrected one and I did pay which I'm gonna be adding it to the budget switching it out I did pay 185 Nah, take that back. So it was 185 when everything was said and done, but it was actually about 169 So that's the price right there and yeah, add it to the So bill. lucky me, I was able to find some grease right here that I probably had for a while. So now I am about to lube up this little bushing here. This little bushing that I am going to be installing. Let me bring you guys closer, okay? This bushing that will go on here. Um, as you can see, boom, already have this small one here, so on this one at the beginning, as you can see what I had and put a crap ton of grease here for this pushing thing that will go for the shifter ends. I'm trying to see if I can put whatever's left here inside so I can help it inside, I mean in here, loop it up. Let me see, still got some left in there, there you go. Moment of truth. Let's see about how it slide in. Yeah. 
Almost there, as you guys can see. We pretty much use these clamps right here to help me clamp it in, kind of push it in. Now I just have to make sure I see the problem. And there you go. I was able to put it in. It took me about 20 years, but uh, I got it in there, so we do have a bushing now. For the shifters who we all set in that aspect as well so i am pretty much done with the almost done i can say with the shifter cable so now i was able to replace that one so we are good on that part right there so when i ended up picking these one from the junkyard it was missing that so um, i actually got this one off off on a cord and it perfectly fits perfectly i am missing this one as you can see it was also missing from the junkyard and it and i do have this one so most likely i'll probably bite the bullet and um get myself uh, one of these aftermarket ones and then just replace them as such. And these right here are RSS, RXS um, base manual shifter cables. All right, so that's gonna conclude the video. Uh, wrapping everything up, I did go to the junkyard. As you guys saw, I found pretty much what I was looking for. It would have been nice to find some unexpected gems, you know, stuff that unicorns and stuff like that. It usually don't find at the junkyard which i've had fine i've been successful uh, in the past but we did find everything that we needed for the most part so we went ahead and put the um transmission bolts i also compare and install the si intermediate shaft uh, i am going to dive a little bit more on that rear bracket and fix some of the helicos as you guys saw on one of my previous videos um i did not like how it sit and the whole um washers and stuff like that which i might still run the washers but we'll see how it turns out but i do have to recheck the heli coils and stuff like that and my, i might i add longer bolts to help out so that's something that i'm still figuring out and diving into uh, but yeah catch you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching make sure to hit that like button subscribe and thank you guys for watching so see you guys